Hello, my name's Paul Neighbour and um, we've been doing Adobe Connect training at Parallel for a long time but um, clearly with the current situation everything's moved online and I, I noticed that Adobe have updated the way, they've presented some more options for the way you can access Adobe Connect so I thought I'd just update this um, um, how to access Adobe Connect video that we have got. So what you're looking for is an invitation. So you, if it's one of our public courses, you'll get an invitation like this. If it's uh, an in-house course, you'll probably get a similar invitation, but maybe direct from the trainer. So what you're looking for is this meeting invite here. So it's a five, six, something, something with a long number at the back. So what we're going to do, actually, I've discovered that a Google Chrome is better. So I'm actually, instead of clicking on that, I'm going to invite open Chrome up for me as a browser. You can use any browser but I just think that Chrome uh, in my testing has been better. So we're going to open this up in uh, Google Chrome so just cut and paste it into the browser part at the top here. If you don't Chrome any other browser will probably do but I think Chrome has turned out to be the best so far. So we don't need to log in we're just you just exp open going to come in as a guest so you just type your name anything will do in there this is what we'll call you in the session, so you could be Paul or Fred or Mickey Mouse if you wish, but um, we'll end up calling you Mickey in the, in the training. So when we enter the room here, you're going to end up with a couple of choices. So the first choice is uh, to download the application, and that's the best way of doing it. Um, what that does, it puts a small bit of software on your on your um, computer that will enable you to open it. So if you want to download the application you press download here and it will just download a little app for you. Uh, I've actually got it already installed so you can always press download here and then open the install and run and launch it so just like any other piece of software. Now the, the for some corporates you may not have rights to download applications and install them so in that case we're going to do the web browser next but let's look at the application so if you have got the application the first thing we're going to do is open that adobe connect application and um it may not open automatically for you it may appear but it, it may just appear as a green box down here so if you do this in uh a, a Windows uh, Explorer, it doesn't actually open the app automatically. So as you can see it opens quite quick and um, the next thing we need to do is to test the sound settings. So how we do that is to click on meeting and press audio wizard. So here you can select which microphone you have. So I've got headsets or microphones. So I'm going to click my USB microphone and we can so that sounds good to me and then when we select the head microphone here you get a choice which microphone so I'm going to stick with that one there and press record so just say something Mary had a little lamb fleece was white as snow and everywhere that Mary went the lamb was sure to go so you see that soundbar going up and down as you're talking and then you can play that recording back so I just say something. Mary had a little lamb, fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. So you see that sandbar going up and down. So that sounds good, doesn't it? Next. Now, it then measures the silence level in the room so that you can uh, know when you're talking. So it mutes you automatically when you're quiet. So let's just press this. Next. So and that, that was good level. 70 is when I'm talking, 10 is the silence, so that's good. If those aren't right, you probably need to fiddle with your microphone volume, which is actually a bit fiddly, but you'd go down here and then you go open sound settings and uh, dig around <laughs> in these microphone settings somewhere down here. You can see my microphone going down here. Somewhere down here it can, you can change the level of that microphone uh, at volume and device preferences type of thing. There we go. So in here you can change your volume of the. Oh, that's not the mic. Yes, that's the microphone volume. So, and that's very specific to your operating system. So that's all set up. And then when we come in the room, we'll take you through it. So that's the download and the app way. I strongly recommend this way. It's it works really well, uh, but it does mean that it's only going to work if if 
if uh, your organization sometimes they whitelist some apps so quite often they'll the, the Adobe app will be will automatically install in your system without your IT people needing to give you permission because it's a sort of a pre pre-approved app for many organizations if not then your options are to do the web based one so we're just going to close that and we're just going to go back to let's close that and then go back to this email so we're going to go back to Chrome so we're just going to copy this URL oh come on copy this URL I usually use the edge but um, I've discovered that Chrome is better so we need to open Chrome again if you don't have Chrome then another browser will do I just found that Chrome is more a bit more faster actually so again where we were before Paul enter the room so now we're not going to use the app we're going to use the the web based version so we're going to click open in web browser there so it's just going to build a, so we haven't left Chrome we're still in Chrome so that's the big difference here so I just heard a little beep that means I'm in the room so now we are there's the same slides the same sort of layout it's just not quite so snazzy is it um, so we can check our sound systems here so here we need to check our speaker and microphone setup this is the bit that's always the fiddly bit so, <laughs> so that seems to be working great microphone now you'll get some pop-up here that'll say allow my microphone so you have to say allow uh, and then it'll give you the choice which microphone would you like to use so we're going to stick with my USB headset because that's the best one and then we're going to say start recording so I say again Mary had little lambs fleece as white as snow and everywhere that Mary went the lamb was sure to go I don't know why I always say that right play that so back so I say again Mary had little lambs fleece as white as snow and everywhere that Mary went the lamb was sure to go so that was quite good now I must say when I tried that in Microsoft Edge it was a bit jerky so that's why I've switched over to Chrome I just think Chrome's more universally compatible really it's just a better browser but so if you do get like a Dalek voice there and uh, try switching to Chrome apart from that it seems to work actually Edge so test silence okay silence level zero look at that no noise so microphone volume was 50 silence level zero great done so that's the uh, web version it seems to be I've always used the app but this seems okay you know you can raise your hand and all that sort of stuff exactly the same up here if you want to talk once we enable it you'll get the ability to talk and we'll also you can enable your webcam if you've got a webcam here um, but I must say if we all use webcams it gobbles up so there are your two options really you can use the web browser version which seems uh, I recommend Chrome if you're using that uh, or you can download the app which actually you can use any browser then if your organization allows you to download the app so I hope you found that useful and we'll see you on a webinar soon cheerio